Hi, we're here at the Desmond Fish Library. It's opening night of the book sale, which has been going on now for a few decades. I have David Lilburn, who's a member of the board of the Desmond Fish Library and has been involved with the book sale for many years. Probably 15. 15. And we watched the prices go. 15 years ago, we started, we added special pricing, uh, which means not retail pricing, just add a dollar or two to a book when it's worth it. And dealers will come in, find it easy to find the books, and people will pay five, ten dollars for a book that would have been one or two dollars before, and they're just as happy to pay ten for it. And all of a sudden, our income quadrupled that year. And ever since then, we've been, we've been doing uh, reasonably well. well. The library is lucky to have you. You've been in the book business for a long time, since 1976. Started Correct. in Australia. The business first went to London, I guess, from there. Well, we actually started in London, despite my accent. We started <laughs> in London. And uh, 76, moved here in 82, and got involved with the Desmond Fish Library about 86. Well, I don't know. It was, it was early anyway, early 80s. That's Kathy Lilburn, also very much a part of Antipodian Books and a big volunteer here at the library. And I'm going to contradict David because I think we started coming to the sale in the mid-80s at least, and so that's probably 24 years. This is a big event for the community, and it's a lot of fun yep. seeing people um, able to take advantage of all this. It certainly is, and things have certainly changed in the book trade since it first started because uh, with the advent of the internet, things have really changed a lot. We find a lot more dealers come to buy books. Um, we used to rely purely on our, our friends and uh, the public, and now you'll see dealers going around, um, scanning the little ISBN number on the book to decide whether or not they'll buy it, instead of just their knowledge, which they used to do in the old days. And uh, they do quite well here. People are coming from all over for this sale. It seems that many of them came from the metro area, Long Island, and maybe even New England. Mm -hmm. Well, they come from all over because they get some really great books. This community is very generous in donating their books and their media, and uh, they support this library. It's an important place in the community. It's a real centerpiece to our community. And uh, they have their little methods where they take their piles and hide them away and cover them up with and then they go out with their boxes and boxes and we are sure pleased to see them go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much Kathy. You're welcome. What Kathy just said about this being a community center is so true because the little village of Garrison just really has a school, um, they have a post office and if it wasn't for this library there wouldn't be a place for people to meet. I'm here with Rob Sternow, who is the former chairperson of the book sale and is also a professional in the book business. Welcome, Rob. Well, thank you, Dale. Uh, you, uh, you did this for many years, and it was a lot of hours uh, combining your professional life as well as your uh, volunteer life. Yes. How did that go? Well, it's a great cause, and um, I'm a book collector, so I love books, and uh, I'm a VP of a printing company, so we print books, so it's kind of in the blood. And how is the Desmond Fish Library book sale different from some of the other local sales? Well, we have um, very generous um, friends that donate the books to the sale, and the quality of the book, I think, are, are, are better than most sales. I go to sales all over the East Coast, and uh, I think our quality is uh, cut above. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming today. Oh, thank you. Signing off for LocalPutnam.com, this is Del Fidanke.